What is up, my beautiful lovelies? What is up in the mighty name of Jesus? I am here in the Holy Spirit. My God says, mention me, welcome me, bring me, hear me now, change your podcast, change your station, hear me now, change the situation, hear me now, and put on Jesus as the station, hear me now. And as you thank him, hear me now, every single detail that was trying to hang over your life, hear me now, that wouldn't let you go, hear me now, got to let you go, hear me now, when you put Jesus on the forefront of the thing, hear me now. And so as you put Jesus on the forefront, hear me now, you're going to incline the focus point. Hear me now where you belong. Hear me now. And I see Jesus. Hear me now as right now. Hear me now. God just opened up heaven to let me know we at the right point of where he wanted us to hear this. If you're on the other side, baby, you're right there where God needed you to be in that right moment in the second of the time frame of where he have you. Hear me now. And so as he led me to Manasseh, king of Judah, and as I started to read, I'm going to read it to you guys as well. But I started to notice how Manasseh was exposing his past life of what he did my God before he came to God and all the wrongs hear me now so it says Manasseh king of Judah Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem 55 years he did evil in the eyes of the Lord following the detestable practices of the nations the Lord had driven out before the Israelites he rebuilt the high places his father Hezekiah had demolished. He also erected altars to the bows and made a sure oppose. Thank you, Jesus, that you take away the demons. Hear me now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hear me now that every demon possess illness. My God, you already cast out. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so then I say to it. Oh, okay. Then I say to the mulberry tree, go cast yourself into the sea and depart from me. Okay. Every witchery. Hear me now. In the mighty name of Jesus, it said, God says, worship him. Hear me now. Jesus is saying, worship me. Hear me now. Don't worship the situation. Hear me now. Don't worship the old thoughts. Hear me now. Let's change the station. Hear me now. In your mind. Hear me now. And so reach higher. In me. I hear the Holy Spirit say ammunition. Hear me now. Read the word. Hear me now. Change. Hear me now change hear me now and so then he says right here Hezekiah had demolished okay let's go back up a little bit let's retract here we go he rebuilt the high places his father Hezekiah had demolished he also erected altars to the bows and made a sure oppose he bowed down to all the starry hosts and worshiped them somebody say I'm covered by the blood of Jesus somebody say I'm not what I look like hear me I'm not what I used to look like hear me now because of the blood of Jesus over my life hear me now and so as you claim hear me now Jesus above that that thing hear me now everything that tries to come up from your old hear me now got to reconcile with jesus christ of nazareth hear me now being on the for- forefront of who you are hear me now okay hear me now thank you lord hallelujah there's some things that just come up that try to tap you or try to touch you in a place of where you used to be and my god they end up touching they ooh, they end up touching jehovah jireh they end up touching jehovah nisi they end up t- touching jehovah shalom hear me now and so when they touch when they touch our father hear me now they end up activating jesus on the inside of you and as they activate jesus on the inside of you hear me now you start to feel the residue of jesus hear me now and also him my god be and one in the father hear me now so the peace start coming my god that surpasses all understanding hear me now so the trash don't the trials don't last hear me now and trouble don't last always hear me now because joy comes in the morning hear me now and so as jehovah jireh hear me now jehovah nisi hear me now jehovah gabor hear me now comes to fight hear me now hear me now hear me now as you got a fighter hear me though as you got a warrior hear me go hear me though as you got a champion hear me though you arrive rise above every circumstance Hear me though, as Jesus rose from the dead. Hear me now, you're following the footprints. Hear me now, every footstep. Hear me now, you're learning to understand more of yourself. Hear me now, and as you learn to understand the more of yourself that is the new self, hear me now, that he tells us in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, hear me now, that he who is in Christ Jesus is a new creation and all things of old have passed away. Hear me now, and so the things that you cannot see that wants to try to touch you in the way that it used to touch you, hear me now, it starts to make you go into an incline. Hear me now, and so even when it tried to reach your baby you just got healed another way and so god has increased your faith hear me now he's increased just that the way that you move the way that you talk the way that you deliver every single detail of where you're trying to go hear me now and hear me though as you know that my god and manessa hear me though although he served other gods hear me now and even when his son he, even though he followed in his father's footsteps at one point of his life hear me now as he learned his lesson when the devil tried to put a hook in his nose hear me now he starts to my God. 
turn to his senses and cry out to God. And he jumps down. Holy Spirit says we at 10. The Lord spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they paid no attention. So the Lord brought against them the army commanders of the king of Assyria. Hear me now. Who took Manasseh prisoner put a hook in his nose and bound him with bronze shekels and took him to Babylon. Somebody tell me, hear me now, that everything that's trying to hook you, hear me now, is now became God's. Hear me now as you cry out to God. Hear me now, and maybe you ain't doing it with your mouth, my God, but you're doing it with your actions, my God, and you keep telling yourself, hear me now, that you getting away from your ego. Hear me now, by you saying I don't want to deal with this no more. Hear me now, and as soon as I find this way out, hear me now, I'm taking my route to the exit. Hear me now, but tell me, tell, let me tell you this, you child of God. Let me tell you this. God says, I met you at the front door. Hear me now. I met you at the front door. Hear me now. Can you hear me now? Hear me now. I keep hearing the Holy Spirit say, Allie, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so here we go. In his distress, he sought the favor of the Lord, his God, and humbled himself greatly before the God of his ancestors. And when he prayed to him, the Lord was moved by his entreaty. I hear the Holy Spirit said, Abraham is your ancestor. Isaac and Jacob and Joseph and Jesus and Daniel and David. Hear me now. And Samson, hear me now. Everybody that's in the book, hear me now that of my Bible. Hear me now because when you start to try to recreate my book, Baby, you go down the land. Hear me now that you got to break free from. Hear me now that try to build up your ego. Hear me now, but baby, you still realize. Hear me now that you need more of a thirst quencher. Hear me now. And so Jesus is the only thing I built you to quench the thirst. Hear me now. And so as you move forward to understand that, my God, the only way you're going to truly get to me, although you recognize I'm the most high God, the only way you're going to get to me in partnership and relationship is through Jesus. And so my God. God, the only way you're going to get to know me is through my son. And so when you realize that you go through the son, baby, you become reborn. And my God, as you become reborn, hear me now, your sins are forgiven you. Hear me now, and then you repent. Hear me now, and you move different. Hear me now, and you move forward. Hear me now, and as you move forward, hear me now, your purpose is in my God, the incline. Hear me now. He brings me to Josiah's reforms. Josiah's, Josiah was eight years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you take care of me, mischief. Hallelujah. Followed the ways of his father, David, not turning aside to the right or to the left in the eight year of his reign while he was still young he began to seek God of his father David I hear God say as you feed your ears and feed your spirit hear me now the right things hear me now him hear me now that if you're going to touch into a catapult a catapult y'all know I like to make my own words up a catapultistic okay <laughs> But no, it's going to catapult. OK, this is a season where it's going to be catapulted. OK, the ministry is catapulted. The podcast is pat catapulted forever. Testimonies ministry. Hear me now. As you incline your focus on God, as you feed yourself, feed your spirit in God, in the word. Hear me now. It's catapulting. And when you just before you know it. When you walk through and take your next step. Baby, you just broke free form to your brand new self and your brand new identity and the brand new awareness of what God has been trying to get you to come to and you're new. And so, yeah, I had to say that in Jesus' mighty name. May it be well with you. I love you, child of God. Be well, be blessed, stay motivated, stay positive. I feel the joy of the oil of Jesus just flowing and just flourishing in this season. Baby, if you want some of that tap, Tap that tag. Say tag, I'm it. Period. Tag, I am it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Always, 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 always realize you're not perfect. So it's always better to repent. And I want to repent right now in the mighty name of Jesus for every omission, every commission, Lord God, everything knowingly or unknowingly in the mighty name of Jesus. We are covered by the blood. Proclaim Jesus over that thing. Proclaim Jesus over victory as victory over your successors. Tell the naysayers to back that thing up. Okay. Put it on the ground. <laughs>
and step on it, okay? Because God says the earth is his footstool. That part, that's how we clean that up. But yeah, I love y'all. Be well, be blessed. Y'all got it.